Hi, this is Tim. And this is Queen. And this is Andy. And today we're going to talk about 24 volt batteries, or mainly we have this battery out of our lawnmower. Yes, we have an electric lawnmower. It's cool. And someone has been more frequently having this battery dead. Now, first I thought it was because it was really hot outside, but now he's like, hey, this battery is only lasting for like 15 minutes. When we check the 24 volt on this battery, we've got 25 volt. But now I'm gonna stick this cord in here, mainly just so we can kind of show this and not have to have seven arms since we only have six. There, now we have 24 volts. But if we put this resistance on, resistor on, which is a very small load, then what do we have now, Michael? Volts yeah, and dropping. and dropping. And really, this is a small resistance, and this should be about ready to burn your hand now. Is that hot enough to burn your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite, but it's hard en it's hot enough to startle you. So first, we were just going to order another battery, but then the battery wasn't available. But then I got thinking, there's only so many batteries out there, and somehow I just don't think that this is a custom-made battery. So we're going to pop this open and see what's inside of it. Wendell, oh, yes. screwdriver. Do you want to run these screws here out? So inside of here, we actually have two batteries. And Wendell, when we put two 12 volt batteries in series, what voltage do we get? 24. That's right. And so let's see, we have some circuit board here. Okay, that's our voltage checker right there. So that's checking between both batteries. And then we have probably, I'm guessing that's probably some type of fuse right there, probably a hundred amp fuse. So now what we want to do is we're going to set this back up for the same load test, but this time we're going to check it across each battery. So I'm going to put the wires back on and we'll use a resistor, but this time we'll check from here to here and here to here and see if one of these batteries is bad. Okay, Michael, now will you take your voltmeter and go across this battery right here? Obviously the red goes to the red. Well, the black goes to the blue there. All right, and then we gotta get the voltmeter where you can see it. Okay, let's put that there. All right, and now what voltage do you get, Michael? Can't see? We have 12.4 volt. Actually, Wendell, can you hold that so we can flip it around where we can see for a second? So right now we have 12.4 volt. All right, I'm gonna put my load across. Let's spin around where we can see it there, Wendell. And now, all right, immediately we're dropping to about 7.6. Show them that, 7.5, so we're dropping pretty fast. All right, now let's check the other battery here. So you need to flip it around so your red one's on this side this time. Okay, what do we show there now? 12.5. 12 12.5. So now when we touch this one, what do we show? All right, we're staying at 12.5. Show them that. So we're staying up on this one. So this battery is good. So what we have here is we actually have one bad 12 volt battery in this and the other is good. So what do you think it takes to get these batteries out of here? You maybe pull them out? Uh, maybe. I don't know if there's a bracket that holds them. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, grunt with me, Wendell. Oh man, well. Well, they almost act like they want to. Oh, what? there it goes. Here goes one of them. Ah, there we go. So Michael, I think we're gonna need a solder and iron. Can we borrow your solder and iron? So what we're seeing here is first, this terminal is soldered here. I'm not sure if this one is yet or not. I think it'll slide off of there. In fact, yeah, these two are soldered and then these two have terminals on. So we'll have to unsolder these. And then we have these batteries. That should be a nice replacement for these. In fact, let's see, yep. If we spin it around, that looks identical. How much were those batteries? 
Well, that, that's actually a really good question. So these batteries, like I said, we got two of them. They were about $20 a piece. And I can't tell you how much this whole thing was because it wasn't available anywhere. But I guarantee you it was more than 40 bucks. All right, we heat it up, Michael. Almost there. Almost. Okay, Michael, put this up. This one's not gonna get us enough heat. We need to get the big solder and iron. Okay, so we're struggling to get these off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and we're gonna put new spade connectors on. So you go over there and find the yellow spade terminals. It says on the side, non spillable. I just noticed that. So car batteries usually have liquid in them, they'll have acid. So non spillable, I don't know if it's sealed here or if that means that this isn't liquid. it um, is not liquid. Because, yeah, there are dry type batteries. My wild guess though is this is just a very sealed battery. Awesome. Okay, so we're struggling to get the solder off, but we've got other terminals. So we're just gonna cut these right there. Then we'll strip this and we'll strip this. Well, because this is just sensing voltage. So remember, when we have current, we have to have the wire size for the amount of current going through it, right? Well, this is just measuring voltage. So it doesn't actually have any current going through it. Okay. All right, so we'll slide that on. And we're going to crimp that down. Like so. Okay, so now this battery is ready to come out. And we can slide this one in its place. And yep, this will hook right in there. And so we'll have to solder that back on when we're done. But now this one will do the same thing. We're going to cut it here. That gets that battery out of the way. And then strip this wire. Michael, you go get us some solder? Actually, no, here we can just crimp those on. Well, hey! Welcome to the video. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. They can't see you. You go grab that, buddy. All right, Michael. So now, well, we left all that intact. So if we slide our wires back up in here, what voltage you got? We have 25 volts. All right. And then we're going to put our resistor on now, guys. Chances are, if this actually works right, this resistor is probably going to burn up. So just be ready. We got our safety glasses on. Yes, I know somebody will say this isn't completely safe, but what voltage are, whoops, what voltage do you have now? 25. Still? Yes, sir. All right. So see, we're holding steady at 25. Here, Wendell, see if that's hot. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Okay. So yes, that resistor is probably hot, but we should be good to go. So if we can get all this slid back in here now, anybody got any ideas on how to do that? Is it this way? Is that how we did it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that goes down like that. That can lay down. And then, yeah, we should better put the top. Hopefully, is it all gonna fit back together? So there you go. For about $40 and about 30 minutes time, we've got a new 24 volt battery. I can mow the grass now. And yes. it functions. Yes. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's a little different than our normal video, but I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about batteries and how when you series two batteries, you can get more voltage and also how, you know, economically you can fix a custom battery. Till next time. Hair, so important. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. You got it ready? Yes, I got my hair ready. Okay.
Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And you two think you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.